what is up my YouTube fam listen today I just got the taste for beans so of course these beans are not gonna be done until tomorrow because I'm about to let them cook low and slow but listen I'm so excited about this y'all so this is about to be the most flavorful beans y'all ever seen in y'all in life listen when I tell you let me just tell you what I put in my beans I try to throw every kind of meat up in the beans as possible. So right here, already in my crock pot, I have some beef bone marrow. Beef bone marrow, okay? That's just packed with so much flavor. Beef bone marrow. And also here I have fresh hock, fresh ham hock, okay? Fresh ham hock right here. That's going in the crock pot right there. Also, I'm going to add some Alabama sausage. I'm going to cut these up real nice and good. And that is also going to go over here also in that pot. And also, I had some ham that I froze. We're also going to throw in some ham chunks left over. This is from a um, fresh ham that I baked. I froze it and these chunks are about to go over in these beans also so what I'm about to do now is clean up this um, clean up this bone marrow and clean up this hock get that because you can see the stuff floating in the water you can see that stuff you don't want none of that so we are going to get this cleaned up we're going to chop up our sausage and we are going to add in our ham we're going to let this cook overnight then early in the morning these are the beans that we're going to add in so i'm doing some great northern beans and i'm also going to do some navy beans it's about to be so good y'all it's about to be good i'm gonna take y'all on this process listen the more meat the variety the more variety of meat you add to your beans the more flavor it's about to be on and popping y'all stay tuned all right my youtube fam this is my beef bone i had two beef bones in here if y'all remember look how that cooked all off the bone all that fat and that goodness and here is my fresh hock that is so tender look at that that's the fresh hock so now we are going to add in our sausages and our ham and I'm also going to dice up or chop up a um, large onion large yellow onion and we're going to throw that in there too and lastly we're going to add the beans and I'll be back to show you guys the next step okay YouTube fam here's all of the seasonings that I'm about to dump in with the onion we got adobo some roasted garlic and herbs slap your mama granulated garlic garlic salt and black pepper here is those nice clean bones that uh, those beef bones we put in there and let cook overnight. All of that delicious skin and 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 fat and meat is all in there with the ham hock. Um, and here is our beans that's been soaking overnight. These are great northern beans and navy beans. So I have my seasoning all in the cup here. So now we are just about to sure this is focused so there's my large white onion it looks like a lot of onion but it's really not because you got to think the beans still have to go in there and this is also going to look like a lot of seasoning but it's but it's actually not there you go so that's all my seasonings all equal parts right there and what I'm gonna do is just give this a stir and now I have my ham chunks in there, and I also have those delicious uh, Alabama sausage right here. We have some delicious uh, ham right here. And, of course, we have our ham hock, and we have our beef bone marrow. So let's just get all that stirred up with that seasoning. And this is going to cook for... I'm going to let this meat and stuff cook together probably for another two hours. And then I'm throwing the beans in last. Because remember the beans soaked. So the uh, cooking time is going to be cut in half. So look at that. Look at that. Look at that uh, juice in there. Just look how seasoned that juice is. 
So after I put my beans in there and my beans cook nice and good, I'm actually going to throw in like a roux in here to make it kind of thick. So when we ladle it over our rice, there's like a gravy. So this is going to be meaty deliciousness. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, my YouTube fam. Here is the finished bowl. Of course we have that cornbread. Y'all. Look at this. When I tell y'all this is bursting with flavor, listen. This is that sausage. This is that Alabama sausage that's been slow cooked. This is that ham. This is that ham, y'all. That's been slow cooking with them ham hocks. Look at all this flavor. Mix it on in with the rice. Look at that. Let, first of all, let me get y'all a spoonful. Let me get y'all some rice. Some hold on. Let me make sure I got. Let me get on. Uh, let me get on in there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Eat that. Go ahead. Go on. Take a bite. Go. On. Go. On. All right. Go. On. Delicious. See how that gravy is not. That's how I wanted it. I wanted that gravy to be nice and thin. Look at the onion. I mean, even the rice. Go on. Go on for people who ain't want the meat. Go on, take a bite of just that rice. Let me get it focused for y'all. That rice is so white. Go on, take a bite. There you go. Go on now. Listen. Listen. Ooh. Oh, Lord, it spilleth over. It spilleth over, Lord. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this short but flavorful recipe. I love you all. I love you all. Get that cornbread. Get you a bite of cornbread. First, this is my bite. This is going to be my bite right here. Hold up. Let me get me. This gonna be my bite. Hold up. I love you all. Now that I taste that, I'm out. Cause I gotta finish the bowl. Everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. Everybody, stay safe and stay blessed. I'm about to get into it. Ham chunk. Ham chunk falling off the bone. Mmm. I love you all. Until the next video, y'all. Peace.